Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So in this video, I will be talking about uh, the variable types, how types are assigned uh, in Python. As uh, in last video tutorial we saw, uh, we don't need to specifically assign the types uh, in Python because uh, they are dynamically allotted. Uh, so let's see, let's go to Jupyter Notebook and uh, uh, in last video we already saw the naming convention and this underscore operator how it is used and now uh, so before going to types uh, in python i wanted to first uh, show here in python everything is object so if if you say what is object object is uh, uh, something which holds data and methods could be applied to it we will sh we will see it uh, later uh, for so now the common types in python are numeric integer float complex then we have uh, uh, strings then uh, in text and then in boolean true and false uh, logical uh, stuff and then sequences we have list tuple range so how it works without types so for example uh, i have a variable a is equal to five so how uh, python uh, uh, dynamically assigns uh, this uh, uh, variable a type uh, integer so this works like uh, when you create uh, opt uh, when you when you type a is equal to 5 and you run this code so the python creates dynamically pi int object uh, on heap so if you are from uh, uh, computer software side um, you already if you have already concept of heap and uh, stack then uh, this uh, pi int object is created on a heap and it is managed by operator and uh, which contains the value 5 and then uh, you have a which is uh, which is a local variable which is pointing to that uh, pi int object created on heap and it is on stack and it is managed by the program so this is how dynamically objects uh, are created in python so if a is equal to 5 so it will by default create a uh, pi int object if a is equal to 2.5 something with point or in decimal then it will create pi float object so let's see this a is equal to 5 so a is, so output will be 5 so here you see the a is equal to 5 and if if you want to check the type of a you can write type a and then see integer it is an integer huh? and if you if you assign a is equal to 2.5 now this object should be float and uh, a is equal to 2.5 and type of this will be float so this is how you can check the type and uh, i already explained you how these uh, objects are created on uh, heap and uh, how uh, the the types are uh, assigned uh, dynamically in python then the next thing is uh, how to check if same types if two objects so for example if a is equal to 2 b is equal to 2.0 so now here you have point with decimal so so as i already showed you earlier so with without uh, point this is this will be considered as integer and this will be a floating point so a is b so what what uh, this is command is used is command is used to check if they are pointing to the same reference point uh, uh, i mean the dynamically created object on the on the heap so so here it will be pi int object but here it will be pi uh, float object so they will not be same so this answer if i expect the answer from these two oh, should be false so here you see you press shift enter and the output will be false and now if you check the type of type of a is int and uh, if you check the type of b it is float okay so you press shift enter and then this is how you can check uh, if uh, the object uh, they both are same or if uh, uh, if uh, how to check the type of uh, objects and then the next thing is uh, here you can create the string object as well let's say uh, my string is equal to hi 
so this is your string object and if you write this like this and it will be printed automatically press shift enter and hi this is the output so if you check the type of my string key so it will show you it is the string type uh, str so this is how you can uh, uh, just uh, assign the values without uh, uh, writing the type it is automatic it is dynamically created these types are dynamically created and uh, you don't python takes care, care of everything and uh, and uh, so how it works so this was it from uh, this video tutorial if you have any questions you can write in comment below and uh, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more interesting videos